hello everyone and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel today as you can probably tell from the title of this video i am going to be showing you how to adjust your audio using keyframes in adobe premiere now the reason why you want to use keyframing whenever you're adjusting audio is because it makes the transition so much smoother and it's just a much easier process than like trying to cut and like you know doing all that so First step is to import your media, and you can do that by either left clicking this box here, or using the shortcut Command I, or Control I if you are on a PC. And then go ahead and drag that file that will appear here into your timeline. Now, um, in order to do like a baseline audio gain, which is what you're gonna like the whole keyframing thing. If you do not know, it's called like you know audio gain and you're gonna to wanna to watch these levels here. To do a baseline audio gain, you're just going to right click your audio, scroll until you see audio gain, and you can go ahead and change it here. So the higher the number, the louder. If you go into the negatives, it's gonna reduce it. Um, I can give you a sh small example here. So as you see, it's hitting about 18. If I go ahead and audio gain and I do it by like let's say three now it's hitting about you know 15 or so so let me show you what an audio peak looks like and that is right here whenever he shuts the door and as you see it goes into the red and you don't want that because you don't want your audience to be you know just enjoying your video and then all of a sudden they have an attack through their headphones not pretty okay so this is what you would use keyframing to adjust and now that can be for if people are talking you know if you're editing a clean video and someone drops the f-bomb and you like want to get rid of that but you want to make it smooth so you know you can just drop that audio and uh so let's go ahead and zoom in using this little scroll here and go ahead and make that box bigger make it a little bit bigger until we see this little thing here pop up. All right, so this is where our audio peak is and we do not want that. So what we wanna do is go into effect controls. Now, your, your video might look like this right now. Just go ahead and click effect controls and make sure that your audio is selected. Now, ignore this video effects for right now and go into audio effects and we're gonna look into this levels. Now, if your little clock here timer thing is not blue, just go ahead and click it and that'll highlight it blue and you want these little um, circle diamond things to show up and go ahead and hit that arrow. So since I clicked on this once, there's already a keyframe, but let me just go ahead and delete that to show you. So what you wanna do is go ahead and you can click here or this little keyframe device here. I'm gonna use the one up here and just go ahead and click that. And then using your keyboard, using the right arrow, go ahead and click one time to skip one frame and add another keyframe there. And then go to the end of your audio peak. Now I'm not editing this perfectly, it's just kind of to give you an idea. Uh, actually, sorry, I don't know what I'm thinking. Okay, go ahead and go to your previous frame by clicking this little button here and that's how you can skip in between keyframes. And as you can see, our keyframe is down there. You can see it there too. And then you can, this is how you adjust your audio. So, you know, moving this way enhances it, this way decreases it. So let's just go ahead and see. Let's try that. So that's a much more, as you can see, it doesn't, it doesn't peak anymore. I actually think it's about level. Yeah, about level with the rest of the video. And then go to the end if you wanna, you know, raise your volume again. Add another keyframe. And then once again on your keyboard, using the right arrow, jump one frame, another keyframe. And then you can go ahead and raise your volume back up to the previous you know, setting. So now it will look like this as opposed to before, which was, so, you know, tiny difference, but it will make a huge, like it'll be a huge deal in your video. If 
you know, you have no audio peaks because the second you have that and then someone turns down their headphones, you're gonna, they're going to lose interest in your video or, you know, just altogether it'll just be, would not be good. Let's put it that way. Yeah, and I think that's everything. So if you have any more questions or any video suggestions or anything of that you know, sort, go ahead and leave that down in the comment section below. And if you found this video helpful, please leave a like because that will help me tremendously. Yeah, so thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.